Welcome back to Father and Son Fix. In this episode, we're going to show you a special trick and a special tool that's going to make removing the anti-sway bar from your W211 or S211 Mercedes E320, E350, or E500 4Matic a lot easier. So, let's check it out. Okay, now that we've got the front lower cover panel removed, we can show you what the real challenge with this repair is. This top bolt right up here, while it may appear on camera that there's access, there really isn't any access to get to this bolt. And you could get it part way out, but that's not going to release this clamp to allow you to remove and replace the bar or the bushings. So what we found is that you're going to need to remove the bolts in the back to take the whole back bracket, front part, the whole assembly off. And we're gonna show you that it gets a little bit trickier as well. Now it remains challenging in the back here as well, cause this bolt right here for the bottom is right next to the control arm. Now some people have jacked the car up, which gives you a little bit of movement in the control arm, but that really still doesn't give you enough access to get to this bolt in a really good way with standard tools. So what we're gonna show you is what you're gonna need to get this job done, and that's gonna be a Torx bit that you're gonna get, and you're gonna cut it with a cutoff wheel down to the size you need, and we'll show that to you right now. Okay, now here is that Torx bit, and it's a T50 bit, and you're gonna need a cutoff wheel to cut it. Now they make stubby T50 bits, however, the stubby bits, the base, are too wide to get access by that control arm. You need to get one that has a 10 millimeter base and cut it off to about this size. And you're gonna use a 10 millimeter wrench on this to break that bottom bolt free. And we'll show that to you right now. So here you can see the tool on the bottom bolt and it is really snug up against that control arm. There is no room to breathe right there. However, it gives you enough room to turn the wrench and break that bolt free. And this is really the thing that's gonna make this job a lot easier for you. Instead of having to remove the front radiator support and all this and that to get to that bolt in the front, you come around back and you get this T50 bit, you cut it, you get a 10 millimeter wrench, and then you're gonna be able to crack that bolt free. The top bolt up there is a lot easier. You got more access to that. And you can use an extension with some wobbles uh, to get to that guy, no problem. It's this bottom bolt that's the tricky one, and that's the tool that you're going to need to make your life a lot easier. After you break that bolt free and you get the top bolt loose and you can remove the sway bar at this location, from there it's pretty straightforward like any other sway bar removal or installation. And you're going to come around, you're going to get that bolt there that also connects to the suspension and the sway bar link. And those are uh, 218s right there. No problem at all. You got good access to those. It's really this little guy. Once you get that, you'll be home free. We hope this helps and we hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.